Welcome to the presentation about the new features included in SQL Diagnostic Manager 11.1. .1. In the previous 11.0 version, we expanded support for Azure Monitoring to include support for Azure Managed Instances, Elastic Pools, and of course, single databases. With the 11.1 .1 release, we further continue to expand support for cloud environments, but this time we focus our attention on Amazon RDS. Now, prior versions of SQL Diagnostic Manager were capable of monitoring Amazon RDS. However, with the 11.1 .1 version, we re refined the product to focus on metrics that are available in RDS. For example, graphs related to OS metrics have been removed, given that those metrics are unavailable. However, we didn't just take things out. We also included new metrics that are only found in RDS. And uh, along with these new metrics are also new alerts. As you can see from this list, we made improvements related to the user experience, which I will demonstrate here shortly. Now, just before we take a look at the new version of SQL Diagnostic Manager, I also want to note that our RDS template, which had been available since 10.5, has also been updated with these new metrics. Now, along with these updates to the alert templates, we've also added new recommendations, which can be generated from our prescriptive analytics. Let's move along and let me quickly show you some of the new features found with this release. First, let's take a look at the new alerts that we've added to RDS. To do so, I'll head over to the alert configuration template so that I can show you the built-in RDS template as well. This is a template that's automatically going to be applied to your RDS instances when they are registered. In my environment, I have a few custom counters that are already configured, but let's ignore those as those are unique to my environment. Instead, let's scroll down to the database as a service section where we'll find the alley nuded metrics. Some of these new added metrics include read latency high, read latency low, write latency high, and write latency low. Now these metrics are important as they can indicate whether your sub or storage system might be having some issues that may require your attention. Let me head on back to the all servers view. There are a couple of additions, additions here as well. If you look at the upper right hand corner here, notice that there are a few buttons to select from. The first button is our heat map. This heat map view basically lists your servers based on their current health. The instances with the lowest health value is going to be found on your top left. And obviously your healthiest instances are going to be found on your far right, bottom, bottom far right. It's a quick way of being able to quickly look and determine which instances might require your attention. Now, if I move along to the grid view, you'll see that we've added a few new columns to this view as well. Now these new columns will help you quickly determine what areas of your SQL Server instances may require your attention, such as IO, memory, CPU. Moving along, let's take a quick peek at some of the updated views, graphs, and charts. To do so, let me dive into the RDS instance so that I can display my dashboard view. This view may look the same as an on-premise instance. However, if you look closely, the OS-related graphs have been removed in an effort to lessen confusion so that DBAs can focus on the metrics that are truly applicable to the RDS environment. Some of the new graphs we've added can also be found in other views, such as some of the views found under resources. Under resources, let's head over to the CPU view where you'll be able to see CPU credit usage and CPU credit balance. These new graphs are specific to RDS. Now, under this view, we'll also find some additional new graphs such as write latency, read latency, disk queue depth, as well as write throughput and read throughput. Next, let me talk about our predictive analytics. For those of you that are not familiar with this feature, predict or prescriptive analytics is a feature that essentially generates recommendations for a number of different categories, such as security, disaster recovery, index optimization, and query optimization, query optimization just to name a few. We have over 200 possible recommendations that can be generated through this feature. And the 11.1 .1 release added additional recommendations that are specific to the RDS environment. Now these recommendations can generate these recommendations which are generated can provide details such as when something 
is a problem, when it's not a problem. Um, we provide you additional links for you to do additional research. In cases where recommendations can be implemented through a T-SQL script, SQL Diagnostic Manager will provide you with that T-SQL script. Now, earlier I mentioned that we made some user experience improvements. Now, one of these improvements or some of these improvements are things that I can't demonstrate, such as the ability to support 4K monitors and uh, supporting scaled font sizes that are configured at your operating system. However, there is a new feature which I will be able to demonstrate. On the console options window, notice that there's a new option for theme. We have a light option, which I am currently using, as well as a newly added dark theme, which can be helpful for those users looking to reduce eye strain. That, in a nutshell, are the new features within SQL Diagnostic Manager 11.1. If you're new to SQL Diagnostic Manager, you can go to www.idera.com and download our trial. Our trial is fully functional for 14 days where you'll be allowed, where you'll be allowed to monitor up to 15 instances. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video.